Technique in French really means formal practical details in an artistic fashion or artistian fashion. So I'm going to take some artistic liberties and share with you what I call the press technique. What we're going to do today is take some avocado. And we're going to take this avocado, season it, put some flavors inside, some nice herbs, a little salt, a little olive oil, and we're going to press it. And when we press it, we're going to end up with what I call a mosaic canvas. And this mosaic canvas is going to be the canvas for your plate to many creative dishes. First thing we do is we take a cryovac or food saver bag. So we have our avocado, we cut it in half, and then you're going to scoop it out. You don't want to cut it, you don't want to dice it. The whole key into getting that mosaic process when you press it is looking at these beautiful contrasts in color. We're going to place it inside the bag. If you could, you just chop it up maybe just a little bit. We're going to take the other half as well. And if you could, you can use two or three different kinds of avocados. Um, different ripeness, again, will give you just a different um, mosaic texture. So we're going to fill the bag with our avocado. And then we're going to add some flavor to it. You could add some lemon juice, which will help uh, from the coloring, from distilling it. So we have about three quarters of the avocado in there. And I'm going to take some olive oil, and we're going to put it inside the bag. And then we're going to lay some leaves. We have some sage leaves. We have some beautiful pluches of chervil. We're going to season it with some salt. I have here some beautiful Merlot salt. This is a uh, sea salt with Merlot wine. And what's going to happen to that salt, too, it's going to bleed a little, but that's OK. That's the whole idea of this, is to really create an artistic impression and platform for your plate. So we're going to take that. We just press the avocado a little. We're going to take our food saver and open it up. And again, in a professional kitchen, or for those of you at a La Cordon Blue School, we have professional cryovac machines, professional bags. But if you're doing this at home, a food saver works extremely well. We're going to press down on that. And what's happening with the cryovac is all the air of the bag is getting sucked out. So it's pressing the avocado, it's compressing it, it's intensifying all those flavors. You can infuse fruit this way, other kinds of vegetables, you can put a vinaigrette, any kind of dressing, you can marinate. And we're going to lift this up, and you see here that it's pressed, it's very compact, all the air is out of the bag. But it's not quite what we want to achieve, so we're going to take a rolling pin, and we're going to pound it just a bit, and you actually roll it out like you were rolling out dough. So we're just going to take it and I'm going to move our little machine here. And depending on the firmness of the avocado, but just a really light roll, you have the bag that's already sealed on both ends. So it's allowing you the liberties, so you just pound it a little. And if you see here, we have that beautiful Merlot salt, we have the herbs. So this is really a modern technique that has endless uses for plate presentations, uh, for different soft vegetables, cooked beets, uh, different kinds of fruits, banana. And if you look here, we have the herbs. And look at the different colors. Look at the contrast there. Just a beautiful mosaic. And then what you would do with this is place it in the freezer and then take it out about 10 to 15 minutes before service time. And you simply have here, we have a beautiful strip of our avocado. And with that, we're going to make just a little shrimp and tomato. So we got our shrimp here. So you have that nice avocado compressed, that little mosaic. We have our shrimp. We have some beautiful vine-ripe tomatoes. So a very modern, contemporary presentation. Beautiful, delicious food, but still using a technique. And vacuum packing has been around for a very long time to preserve food, to infuse flavors on food. We're going to take just a little bit of oil. Olive oil around the plate, a little more of our Merlot salt just on top here. Maybe a few pouches of chervil. And then a final touch, a little cracked black pepper. And here you have it, a beautiful avocado, shrimp, and tomato salad, unlike any other you've had before using the press technique.